At one time, it was deemed illegal and indeed heretical to even translate the Bible into English. We've just come off the 400th anniversary of the first printing of the King James Bible, and we've devoted our entire gallery space to telling the history of this particular translation. And then as the exhibition broadens to examine its cultural influence, and then broadens even more to understand biblical influence in art and literature generally, and one of the first things you see as you walk into the exhibition is a first edition of the King James translation printed in 1611. It's a really exciting book to see because in some ways it's very familiar, but in others it looks quite different different, you see the S's that look like F's that make reading a little challenging for modern readers. Printers and writers and artists and translators have seen the Bible as this kind of ultimate challenge to their craft because it's held a fairly important place in Western society for all of this time. It's really interesting to have master book craftspeople addressing the same text and then being able to see the manifestations are so completely different. You have different illustrators working in different mediums choosing, you know, relief printing, intaglio printing, planographic printing, but it just so happens that many of these are very famous within the book arts and well-known well -known Bibles on their own. A lot of the writers and artists represented in the exhibition didn't come to the text from a faith perspective necessarily, but as artists who revered it as a work of art and who sought to understand it. You begin to see the way that even someone very unfamiliar with the Bible will be very familiar with some of the things that have spun off or been inspired by the translation and really begin to understand the influence of the King James translation on art, on literature, on the world around us. It's a source of inspiration to the Austin community and perhaps it will enrich their lives in some way.